Hey, Cancer. What up? What up? What up? I am Sass. I'm doing your February 1st to the 14th love reading. Vibe with me, please. Let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping. You have hope. Rest and rejuvenation and material harvest. Wow. So, um, Cancer, you have been having hope, having a lot of hope in your situation, feeling very hopeful, seeing where you need, you can be hopeful or need to be hopeful. Um, mentally, um, you know, just taking time to get back some stability or have stability in your situation, resting and rejuvenate meditating on the situation or your connection and or enjoying it um through this connection you might have been experiencing material harvest um you might have the high vibration of your connection might have been um causing you to experience material harvest also um you might be looking at your connection as a means to material harvest or very fruitful yeah, let's see what's popping for the 1st to the 14th. So we have the Knight of Pentacles here. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. Some of you might be um, expecting an offer or getting an offer after some form of deception. A very sturdy offer this 1st to the 14th of February. After some form of deception or someone hiding their feeling or someone being caught in deceptive ways or deception, whether you are the other person, uh, someone was walking away or trying to get away with something, but they got caught, you know, they got caught yeah um for the first to the 14 some of you might find yourself in competition negativity um competition with others competition internal conflict um or the person you are involved with having internal conflict conflict and there's some form of disagreement in your love life gossiping and slander some of you might be patching up that um that the heartache disappointment um any form of deception and um the wound is no longer raw it's now healing and the swords are put down so now you're you're seeing things clearer and someone might be offering you whether the same person or someone new offering you something very sturdy and practical and um grounded yeah some of you might definitely be um Feeling disappointment, feeling, um, you know, loss, some form of loss because of deception, because of cheating, because of lying or stealing or whatever, or someone being caught in the act of their deceptive ways. So now we have the five of wands here and having to have strength because of all this drama, competition, slander, jealousy, and negative actions, negative thoughts in your relationship for some of you. Some of you, someone is guarding their heart holding on for their life, but some of you, someone is definitely holding on to this situation, this connection, and not letting go. And some of you, someone is not doing anything about it and holding on to it, or someone is recovering 
from whatever heartache and loss and disappointment, misunderstanding and miscommunication or people getting meddlesome. But for some of you, there's definitely some form of victory. And now this person is crowning you. You are crowning them. And you're going to make it happen together. And you might just be in the public eye together. Very passionate reunion or victory. And you're doing it together for some of you. I don't know how to read one way. Unless I'm doing with one person in particular. So um, let's see what's popping. Oh, child. So Cancer, we have healing family issues. Well, this is coming up a lot. Getting to know each other and religious factors. So um for um i'm getting that someone has there's a family situation that's causing the um the the full success of your relationship or is going to harm um once it heals or is as it heals your relationship heals or you get into better relationships your love life is benefits as you forgive your parents and some of you need to really forgive your parents or the person you're involved with so they can focus on having healthier relationships because it all starts with the the foundation getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so it's that's very plain um religious factors so your love life is influenced by your religious factors, religious upbringing and spiritual part. So some of you, your religious factors and spiritual part may be blocking your desire or your love, your desire, your love life, or it's actually pulling you two together, you know, and separating what's not supposed to be. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, yeah? And um, forgiving and learning. You release and heal the past, you, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, right? And um, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, so let's see what your spiritual message is, Cancer, for the 1st to the 14th. So you are a powerful light worker. Makes sense. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in long loving service to the divine. Cancer. Solar Pelix Chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful. It is repeating. And take charge for your of your life in positive ways, Cancer. Um, indigo, the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning highly sensitive, natural born leader. So yeah, Cancer, I bet you the highest, highest, highest vibration and healing, healing, healing and protection. Of course, namaste. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you do like the vibe, do join the try. Thank you very much and peace. I'm out.